Okay, so what I'm going to do today is um, I'm going to do a double boneless joint of hake. And what I'm going to do with the tail is I'm going to actually butterfly it. So first of all, you need to scale the fish. As, uh, as done in the other videos, you can see how the process uh, was carried out. Um, first thing we need to do after that is remove the head. So just be very careful of the teeth on a hake because if you do get tagged by them, uh, you will, uh, it will bleed for some time. So the first thing you need to do is remove that head. So I'm going to lift up that fin. I'm going to come at an angle. I'm using a serrated knife here to the middle. Turn it round. Exactly the same thing on this side. To the middle so you get maximum yield. And you just cut through and discard. Okay, so the second thing I'm going to do now is just turn the fish round. I'm going to remove all the fins. So we're just going to take these off. So using a pair of scissors, going from the bottom up. So it's going to take all those off, all the way up to the top. Just take those fins off. Just remove them, this side, and then turn it round and do exactly the same thing on the other side. All the way up to the top, to there. Okay, just discard those. And what we need to do now is just place our hand in the gut cavity to where it finishes. Okay, with your, with your finger, obviously remove your finger before cutting right the way through. We're just going to cut right the way through that bone. Just discard that to one side for a minute. Okay, so we've got uh, the top, top end of hake. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to remove, just free off that bit from the cartilage to there, nice and neat finish. And I'm just going to open it up. Okay, so we have to remember with the uh, uh, hake it works, the, the bone structure on the hake it works at 90 degree angle. So what we're going to do is just open it right out. We're going to get our knife and we're just going to come underneath to there. One straight cut to there, to the middle, like that. Turn it round and do exactly the same thing. So come underneath to there and then right the way up. We're just going to free it off. Now what we do is we put our knife down, we're going to use our fingers because it's very, very soft. So just open that up to there. You can see we've freed that all off. We're going to do exactly the same thing on this side. Move our fingers to there. Okay, turn it around again. Put our fingers in. I'm just going to lift through the bone and just pull it out. Okay, so we open it out. And what we're going to do is get a nice cloth and just get rid of that uh, black belly membrane again. It probably just disappeared during the cooking process. However, it's a little bit unsightly, so we're just going to remove it with that cloth to there. Again, taking that uh, membrane off to there. And then what we're going to do is you're going to tidy up the cut mark where it was gutted on board ship. So you're just going to take that part off to there. Same thing on this side. And then what we're going to do is, is turn it around and find and locate the pin bones. Okay, so again, remember, use the pads of your fingers. You can see where they are, feel where they are, and just pull them out. Pull them out the same angle as they're showing the heads. Otherwise, you get splits in there. So just pull it all out to there, to there, to there. Get one last one there. Same thing on this side. I'm going to pull them all out. They're quite big bones, so you can see where they are. To that particular part down to there. Okay, pulling them all out. Okay, so there's all the pin bones. What you can do now is put any seasoned herb you like in the middle of that particular fish. And then what you're going to do is just wrap it up like this. So it's just ready to go. So you've got the, the part in there is ready to go. So you can either wrap it in cling film really, really tightly, or you can put a few strings around it for the joint of hake. So that's just a different way of doing that one. Okay, so moving on, we're going to work with the tail now. Okay, so what you can do there's still a little bit left on that one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some steaks. So what we're going to do is you're going to cut down to the bone, all the way around the fish. It's very, very soft, so you have to be careful to that particular part. And then we're going to chop it off. So there's one steak. We'll probably get one more out to there. Just cut the way through. And also, if you want to get rid of the bloodline, what you can do is just grab, grab hold of your steak and just bounce it on a cloth just to take the blood out. Same thing on both sides, so you've got a nice blood-free steak. Same thing on this one, not too bad on there actually, so just taking it off. 
to there and it just takes it all off so you've got a really nice steak. What we're going to do with the tail is first of all I'm going to just trim it off with the scissors round to there. Grab hold of a knife and what I'm going to do is I'm going to butterfly this so come to the middle to there not all the way through to the other side stop turn it round I'm going to come back inside here right the way down to the tail back to the middle part to there back down and then what I'm going to do is take my scissors I'm just going to trim out that bone and then what you've got is a really nice little butterfly uh, tail fillet that looks good so there you go utilizing a whole cake.